Welcome to the eighth wonder of the tennis world, the All Iowa Lawn Tennis Club, located in majestic Charles City, Iowa. Our job today enjoy one of the best tennis players in the world, Madison Keys, as she returns to her home state in a celebration of our cherished sport. Buckle your seatbelts, folks. This is the Madison Keys Court of Dreams Celebration of Tennis. Uh, I'm so excited, one, being able to go home to Iowa, but just to have this whole experience. And I felt like I wanted to do something to, something good for the world. It's obviously raising money for a lot of really great causes. So I'm just, you know, a lot of, a lot of really great positives coming from this. Just be a small part of this incredible uh, facility and experience is just an absolute honor for me. On top of featuring outstanding tennis, today's event seeks to raise awareness about the necessities of speaking about one's mental health. In fact, all proceeds from today's match will go to Kindness Wins, a foundation focused on both providing treatment to those struggling with their mental health and stressing the importance of acts of kindness in everyday life. This story of struggle is a personal one, to all Iowa Lawn Tennis Club founder Mark Kewen and led not only to his engagement in today's event, but his creation of this iconic facility. This is a whimsical replica of the most famous tennis court in the world. It's definitely a unique location out here in the middle of the corn and bean fields along gravel road, kind of like a dream almost surreal. My name is Mark Kewen. I'm the owner, operator, head groundsman here at the All Iowa Lawn Tennis Club. I'm a corn and soybean farmer. I acquired my interest in tennis while listening to the championships at Wimbledon on my grandfather's shortwave radio. In about 1962, this was a cattle feedlot. One of my chores was to take care of the cattle. Well, one day I came up with the idea to build a grass tennis court here. We discussed this with a turf grass specialist. He said, do you know how much maintenance it would take? What makes you think you could build a tennis court in, in your backyard? And I said, well, I'm a farmer and that's what we do. We grow things for a living. And so we started with that premise that we were gonna give it a try, not knowing if it would really work or not. We brought in loads of very sandy soil. The drainage tile was installed we seeded the court for the first time. There's nothing quite like a grass tennis court. It's softer, it's more forgiving on your body. It kind of absorbs the, the sun's rays. It has a deadening, a different sound than a hard court. And it's very rare. Most uh, grass tennis courts are found back east in private clubs. From day one, both of our sons, Alex and Mason, and my wife were 100% committed to this passion of mine. My newest dream was to intern at Wimbledon. In 2011, a tennis channel crew called me up and asked me if they could do a feature story that would be shown at Wimbledon. In 2012, we were invited over there. Alex and I were there in 2015, and then in 2016, I worked as a court attendant. I've actually had the honor of putting up the net on center court. Just a remarkable experience. When you're gone for two weeks, remember the court has to be mowed almost every day. Alex was doing that while we were gone. We got back very late on Monday night. Then on Thursday, we saw Alex for the last time here. And on Friday morning, we discovered that Alex had taken his own life by suicide and it was from the, the high point of your life to the low point. You know, suicide is a, uh, a tough thing for a lot of people to talk about. We're open about it. We, we don't want to see this tragedy happen to anyone else for any reason. We ask people to seek professional help because there are people here to help you. This place is free to come play for kids, but uh, we do accept donations to support our tournament every year. Teams of six players from Iowa compete against players from Minnesota. And there are three boys and three girls on each team. 
and they're 12 years old and under. Hopefully they'll go home with some lessons about tennis and about life that will stick with them a long time. One of the things Alex wanted to do was to convert the court to ryegrass like Wimbledon. We uh, prepared the surface for seeding. The next spring it came up and uh, opened up for the first of our tournaments. And so the, really the first time it was played on was by the, by the kids and it looked like opening day of Wimbledon. It was beautiful.